Once the tuna is caught, it is brought aboard the fishing vessel. The crew immediately begins the critical process of handling the fish to maintain its freshness and quality. This involves bleeding the tuna to remove the blood and gutting it to remove the internal organs. In some cases, tuna is pre-cooked on board the fishing vessel to preserve its freshness until it reaches the cannery. Pre-cooking is achieved through quick steaming, which partially cooks the fish and helps retain its natural flavor and texture. To maintain the tuna's freshness, it is quickly chilled or frozen after onboard handling. Chilling involves storing the fish at low temperatures, while freezing entails subjecting the fish to sub-zero temperatures. Chilled or frozen tuna is then transported to the cannery to undergo further processing. Once at the cannery, the tuna undergoes thorough quality checks to ensure it meets the required standards for processing. This includes assessing its freshness, size, and overall quality. If the tuna was frozen during transport, it is first thawed before further processing. The thawed tuna is then deboned, removing any remaining bones to produce boneless tuna fillets or chunks. The deboned tuna is cooked to ensure food safety and prolong shelf life. This is done by loading the tuna into metal racks, which are wheeled into large steam pressure cooking chambers called retorts. Tuna is baked for a prescribed time and temperature, depending on the size of the fish. This steam baking removes excess oils and the high pressure and temperature effectively sterilize the fish and eliminate harmful bacteria. The cooked tuna is carefully examined and any damaged or inferior pieces are discarded. The selected tuna is then categorized based on the desired canned tuna product, such as solid white tuna, chunk light tuna, or other varieties. The selected tuna is now ready for canning. Cans are filled with the cooked tuna along with the chosen medium, typically brine, a water and salt solution, or oil. The amount of tuna and the type of medium are regulated to achieve specific product characteristics. The cans are sealed tightly to prevent air from entering and to maintain product freshness. The sealing process involves securely attaching a metal lid or top to the can ensuring it remains airtight. The sealed cans undergo a process of heat sterilization to destroy any remaining bacteria, enzymes, or microorganisms. This step is vital for ensuring the canned tuna's safety and extending its shelf life. After sterilization, the cans are rapidly cooled to a safe temperature. This helps retain the tuna's quality and prevents any further cooking that could affect the product's texture and taste. Once cooled, the cans are labeled with essential information such as the product's name, expiration date, nutritional content, and branding. The cans are then carefully packed into cartons or boxes for shipping and distribution. Throughout the entire production process, strict quality control measures are in place to ensure that the canned tuna meets industry standards and regulatory requirements. Samples are regularly taken for testing and analysis to verify the product's safety and quality. The packaged and labeled canned tuna is now ready for distribution to retail stores and other markets. The product is shipped in controlled conditions to maintain its quality and freshness. Canned tuna once held the title of America's most popular seafood. According to data collected by experts, tuna held that title for 50 years, 1950 to 2000. During that half century, more than 85% of American households had tuna fish stocked away in their pantry. Though its popularity has not lasted into this century, the market is still expected to grow, with revenues rising from 8.57 billion USD to 11.89 billion USD between 2020 to 2027.